Ethereal Workshop with, oh, looks like it might be coming tomorrow. And it seems like we've got some teasers towards some new epics that we can expect coming tomorrow as well. So let's have a look right now at everything that we can work out for tomorrow. So first of all, I want to have a look at this new teaser for Bob. So inside of the latest Rare Trio, where they have been teasing quite a bit because we got the Thumpies game teaser in here as well. If we take a look up to the top left though this time, and we actually rotate around, <laughs> which Rare Bob is looking quite ominously at here. I wonder why, because if we put an image up besides this image that we have for the teaser at the side, you can work out, in fact, that this is none other than Epic Bob. But actually, if we take a look at the teaser as well, we can work out a few details about this. So first off, we've got this bikey looking patch towards the side of this design. This is a stomata if you want to be scientific for you biologists out there, you flasks <laughs> lovers. <laughs> That's a stomata. So this stomata, it looks as though it's emitting some kind of spa-like mist around it, which looks really intriguing. Especially bearing in mind that we have the shadow quad coming up. It definitely evokes this sense of horror, this and as though the variants are going to be based around this theme in, which is really exciting, actually. <laughs> Please, these variants must partake in the horror theme in, okay? But MPG loves this horror theme. We gotta carry it through the whole thing if we can. Then we've also got, on top of it, a uh, flower. This is, in fact, a Rafflesia plant. You might recognise it as being from the Demogorgons in Stranger Things. <laughs> it's not too far behind, to be honest. Those are inspired by this as well. Quite a deadly plant, and in fact, this plant latches on to hosts, and it takes away the nutrients. Just like Epic Octopus, the writ raw disease that that has that recently made an appearance with Rare Dermit to get in as well. This is another kind of parasite that's going to be absorbing on Epic Bob. But it looks like, in fact, this is the whole face. This is its whole audio Epic Bob. So it's going to be interesting to see how this parasite makes its way into its design. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of lore coming forward from that. As well, we have Nulls, who is a parasite. Seen as though that lashes on to unsuspecting trees, which are walking and passing by and then goes, whoa. <laughs> poetry is. <laughs> The idea of mist emerging from these tomato is so weird and creepy and we love that because all of this update is probably going to be creepy themed. <laughs> Screamo is loving this because we're screaming right now. <laughs> So maybe it'll be somewhat similar to Nulls. I guess we'll have to see on that one. <laughs> or Red Dermot or Epic Big Octopus. Either one. Anyway, we have another teaser to dissect as well, which is just released. And editing MPG here. Yo! <laughs> Superior boy over here. <laughs> oh, I have all the power. <laughs> Anyway, if we take a look, we have Firehaven inside of this teaser, and then we get a look at all of these Firehaven monsters, but then it zooms in on an obstacle in the background, and we get a clearer view of Epic Bar. This reveals, in fact, that it looks like some kind of mushrooms are going on top of it that seem to resemble the flowers that we were on about earlier. You can see quite evidently an arm going from this, and the mist itself being, in fact, a part of the spores of the mushroom-like substances on top of it, which is quite interesting. It looks like the flower is going to be taking up the full head and if you pause it at a split second you can in fact see part of the inner section of this monster and what appears to be the face like section behind it and in fact it looks very different it looks like it's quite hollowed out the face so i'm not really sure what's going on there to be honest it looks quite a lonely sad monster there. <laughs> not night bell loves it's an epic bob that's what you want to be looking <laughs> With Epic Bob, I feel like the changes that we are seeing honestly match up to Epic Wallabies kind of drastic measured changes, which actually is me so excited. I feel like it's going to be hard to beat that Epic, even though it is my favourite monster. <laughs> I will put that out there. But also, it is literally the best Epic inside of the game. <laughs> now, one of the best ones, I don't think anyone can really argue with that. It changed up the design so much, and it looks like this one is going to be doing everything in its stride to do that once more, which is absolutely what we want to be seeing from these Epic variants from now on. I have to say. Anyway, we have Lyco's design up on screen, and also another Epic Bob design that we'll get into in a minute. It's blurred out for now. I can't catch it until MPG talks about it. <laughs> Alright, so first up we have Lyco's Epic Bob design. This one, it's got a huge orb in the centre. It feels like it's also quite lending itself towards quite a scary monster. <laughs> it's Epic Bob just guaranteed to be scary, <laughs> maybe. The teeth as well. Oh boy. <laughs> 
We've got some purple eyes on this. Very, really stand out on this design as being quite a centerpiece. The raised up ears coming from it. I can only assume that the ears, I feel like those add a lot of charm towards this design. And I really like it, honestly. And then up next, we have L Bearded Kids design. Hi, L Bearded Kids. First time on a few video boats. They have speculated what Epic Bob could look like based on the teaser, which of course we do like. They have decided, in fact, to make this design have the leaves intact on the middle part of this design. I feel like those are going to be changed up a lot inside of this as I've been over, and I feel like that is going to be the main design change that we're going to see in Epic Bob. So I'm very excited. I also like how they've got kind of a cape at the back. I love those kind of coats where you have a nice cuff at the back. It looks like it's doing something quite similar with the leaves at the back of this as well. Then we have the plant emerging from the top, which, of course, you'll see that all that green poisonous mist coming from it, which we're going to see, including from them stomachs. <laughs> His arms, oh man, they're gonna fall apart. We all, hang on, that's quite a hollow hole there. <laughs> How is the blood and bones flowing to its hands? Anyway, let's move on. So, up next as well, we have an epic ethereal, but we actually know who it is now. MPG, it was not right, okay? <laughs> I tried to guess it would be either epic oraculaire or nibble up. No! If we take a look at this poll that was conducted this week, we have the clear in answer being Jell Billy. This is clearly a teaser towards epic Jell Billy, guys. And also, I already had my suspicions, honestly. I was feeling it already. As if we go back to that extravaganza trailer, when I was looking at it originally, this tentacle in the background, it looks quite similar to Gel Billy already. I didn't really want to call it out because I thought maybe it's a workshop monster or something. <laughs> but no, it looks like it might be an epic Gel Billy in the background here as well. So maybe an octopus theming going on here? We're going to have to see. But what does MPG think that is going to come forward with this design? Well, recently we had Epic Socks, who was based on the Those Singing Monsters cartoon series. It got cancelled. Lo and behold, <laughs> but Rare Socks inside of that. Wow. Well, we had her. She, she, I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> It, it came, it went, lo and behold, here it is on screen. <laughs> we had Epic Zogs be based on this, though, and I thought that was a really cool Easter egg, and to continue that trend of things being based around the original rare or normal counterparts, what is Jellabilly obsessed with? It is, in fact, a huge celebrity, basically, among all cybobs. Basically, what it was saying inside of that poll might be hinting towards what Jellabilly might actually turn out with in its epic form. But inside of the teaser as well, Edgerton and PG is back again because we also got a look at Epic Gelbilly. It scrolls around Ethereal Island and then we get this zoom in onto Epic Gelbilly's arms. And oh my god, I've just got to say, this looks exactly like that castle. <laughs> A castle, Chinese and Korean version costume. What is going on right now? <laughs> All those cringy memes or whatever of that being epic gel, Billy. Are those turning out to be true? I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> But also inside of this, what I find quite interesting is we get a look at the face for a mini school second here again. It appears to be quite a tufty monster, this one. It looks as though it's got a lot of heaviness towards its face. There's a lot going on here. I mean, besides the arms, there's like hundreds of these things <laughs> coming from this design. It looks like it's going to be quite a lot, this one. The moustache or whatever this is that we can see emerging to the side. Could it, it could even be its face. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's a separate piece of its body, perhaps. But this this overall means that this face is going to look quite different, I think. And also the fact that we can see the tentacle from the extravaganza teaser. Let's talk about that for a second. Yes, that does confirm that it was in fact <laughs> the epic gel belly. I think this one is going to be very much lending itself towards both elements. I think if we're looking at the composition of the gel belly, we have plasma and crystal, of course. With original gel belly, you had that plasma shining through. And then with the rare variant, you had the crystal. But then this one, it looks Looks kind of like it's going to be an integration of both elements, which is going to be quite exciting because Jell Billy, honey, you're meant to represent both. <laughs> So let's get that inside of its design. And I still think that the Cybop inspiration, I think, would be really awesome to draw into with this design. Obviously, this will just look quite different. Maybe it's not going to be quite as mechanical as what I might have originally predicted before seeing this. <laughs> but I definitely think it's going to be related to the Cybops in some regard. I don't feel like they're going to leave that out of this design. So I feel like we might have an Easter egg or something related to that. I would hope so anyway. Throw in the epic Cybop ping pong balls or something in there or you know even a propeller <laughs> propeller so gel billy can take flight because my god that head it looks massive <laughs> so 
It's definitely going to be needing some spinning action, like a cybop on top of it, maybe. But it can actually stay afloat because, man, this looks heavy. <laughs> okay. But for it, Big Cybob, I want to also bring up Rocky the Repertoire's design. They've come up with a really unique brain-looking mesh design. <laughs> I feel like this is lending itself a lot more to that plasma element. This one, it has quite an ominous smell. I feel like it might also fit that horror theming that we're going to see inside of this week, which is quite exciting. I like all of the multiple arms in this guy. <laughs> It's quite a zealous design. I saw what Rocky you've got in me going. <laughs> then we've also got, of course, the thing that we all are waiting for, in me included, and I want this ever so badly, a real workshop with Thor. With Thor's going to be arriving, I think, tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Now, I've, I've mentioned all of my predictions basically inside of this video, so go and check that out if you've not already. But I do have quite a few things to add on, so let's have a look at what we have here. Now, of course, I need that Shadow Quad. <laughs> I want this to be a horror-themed update, if you will. We've already got Epic Barb. We just, <laughs> we just need the Shadow Quad to join in, and then it'll be a full-on horror tradition here. I mean, Demogorgons are already quaking from Epic Barb. <laughs> It's <laughs> all good. We also, tomorrow, we, we're going to be seeing a castle upgrade on Ethereal Workshop. I would expect the castle space, we're not going to have enough when the new monsters come. So, of course, we're going to be getting something there, I do think, as well. Synthesizer upgrades, they've been coming pretty much every single wave. So, I would expect a synthesizer upgrade to come because we need that stability for this quad and triple that we're going to be seeing this week. But, in terms of what else that we can expect, I also wanted to delve into the comments because so you guys you had pretty good comments and, honestly, th these kind of reflect my as well. So what else we need to talk about today? So first of all, we have this comment from the Random Toad. They mention about the synthesizer's huge egg at the top of the structure, and they theorize that maybe it could be related to the quins. Now, I think this is an awesome prediction, honestly. The creature on top of the synthesizer, if we look at the upgrades, it's been going into one creature, and then it kind of emerged into three, and by the time all of the upgrades are complete, I do think we might actually have this five elemental looking monster, seeing as it might differ itself into five different parts. Seems as though all of the monsters on Workshop resemble the elements, like Blarrett, Free Mouths, seems as though it's a free elemental, and all of the monsters have this numeric composition where they actually resemble the amount of elements they have. It would make a lot of sense, maybe, if the Quint actually represented itself in five different forms, which is really insane to think, and I actually love this idea. The idea of it being there all along the Quint and just building up towards it without even knowing, I think it's a superb idea. I want to see this, okay? The Quint you can't hold it back from it. I know it's coming, and I think that would be a cool idea. And Dracard Player has also brought up the idea of a Shadow Quad being a tape recorder-like monster, playing ambient sounds, and running and randomly creating an illusion of a silhouette for its light flickering sounds, which is the idea I put forward inside of it. I feel like this is really cool as well. I feel like the tape recorder could be so cool inside of this. I didn't even consider the idea of a tape recorder, honestly. <laughs> that would that mean? Itself. That kind of an effect on Workshop could really capture that factory atmosphere still, and I love that so much. I feel like the light flickering idea is honestly so cool. If this could be a vocalist and instrumentalist, I would take it for this monster, because it's not often that we have this opportunity to be able to have an aura-based monster, and also have all of these intriguing different elements. There's so much you could do for this Shadow Quad, and honestly, my video where I went over so many ideas behind it, only, it only touched the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot that they could do with it, I do think. And then someone else has put Yogurt Enjoyer. That they hope that it's half as good, the Shadow Quad, as Snarl Quinn. Snarl Quinn, right? <laughs> I had to put this up because Snarl Quinn, I completely agree. Snarl Quinn is the best fan made ever you could have for the Shadow Quad. It absolutely lives up to the MSM style still. It's not too scary. It's basically just that kind of in-between that we're looking for with this Shadow Quad. And therefore, I'm hopeful that it does enjoy it with that. And also, can I say, do you have a toothless dance <laughs> Toothless profile picture. I love that yogurt. Enjoy it. I love my yogurt snacks. <laughs> Now, we also have Pugsy. Now, I just put this on for the memes. Is Wave 4 going to have a new Pom Pom family member? Everyone seems obsessed with it <laughs> since Raoul's made the Oopra design. I'm sorry, loves, but I, I genuinely don't think a new Pom Pom family member is coming inside of Workshop. It might honestly just turn out a slop in that case. <laughs> I don't feel like it's stable enough for a hula or Pom Pom counterpart, but maybe we'll see. There's always the chance. Omega Charts, they also bring up quite an interesting idea. I've seen quite a few comments about this, actually. The idea of Workshop having 
a set release. It's been 63 days in between all of the updates. So actually that would place the next update as being on April 17th, which I don't want to actually think is true, man. I want it tomorrow, <laughs> okay? I'm desperate for Workshop with Thor. I need a horror filmed update. I'm very excited. I hope that it's more of a horror themed update tomorrow with Epi Bob and the Shadow Quad, but we'll see, man. <laughs> just, just a workshop, okay? <laughs>